Good morning from Stockholm, Sweden. We've got a flight to catch. It's not even 3.30 in the morning. We're flying to Zurich, Switzerland. Our only plan as of right now is to see if we can sleep at the airport for a while. Otherwise, our day is just gonna be miserable. <laughs> and if all goes well, we'll see a friend later tonight. Someone who we actually met in a hostel several months back. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll go into details of that later. Oftentimes enough, we meet people, hang out with them for a night, and then they always say, you know, oh, if you ever come to wherever, let me know, and at least we can go grab dinner, and I'll try to host you. This is the first time that's actually worked out, and I'm really excited. One of the biggest reasons we want to get a home in the United States is so that when we meet people, we can actually host them. That's the <laughs> biggest reason right now. We very rarely get anywhere before it's opened, but we're at the metro trying to get our train ticket, and we can't yet. We may head back up to the street and try to get some McDonald's breakfast. Not even 7-Eleven is open. What? Well, that was supposed to be 24 hours. It's very surprising in big cities like this, where in the middle of downtown Central Station, nothing is open, not one thing. Right back to where we started. There's only one airport, right? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. These tickets were 338 kroner. Believe it or not, this is not the first train. They run 24 hours. Not every city does that. You can't get a coffee, but you can get a train. I'd rather have the train. Normally we try to get our tickets like this ahead of time so that we feel less stress the morning of our flight. But you can't buy these tickets ahead of time. We had to come in and get them in person because they're like time duration, so they were only valid for this morning. They mentioned I think there might be an app, but we don't. We didn't figure that out. And you can't just go to the machine because there's two different tickets you have to buy. It's like the ticket itself and then maybe a seat reservation. I'm not quite sure, but they explained that there's two different things you have to buy, which is why we just went to the window to make sure we have everything. If you've been following me along, you may have noticed we met one friend in Serbia, more friends in Denmark, my family yesterday, and then more friends tonight in Switzerland. But before that, we hadn't seen anybody that we actually know since December. It was eight months by ourselves. We met people along the way, but it's been nice this week. Can you look a little less miserable? I'm so tired. <laughs> Please find the gap between the train and the platform. Where are we going? Scandinavia takes their liquid allowance extremely seriously. Again, we are not sitting together because we didn't pay for that, but both of us have a window seat, which means we're going to sleep great. Love it. This flight is a little under three hours and we paid with 17,500 points for both of us. Nathan. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Switzerland. We now bid farewell to you, hoping that you enjoy your stay on board. On behalf of Swiss and your crew, thank you for flying with us. Definitely yeah, slept the whole time. Yeah, me too. You still want to take a nap? Yep. Okay. I have a question for Swiss Air. I was surrounded by children the entire time, and every one of them got gummy bears and stickers. And I personally want to know what the cutoff age is for gummy bears and stickers, because I would have liked some gummy bears and stickers. Just get back to me whenever you can. went over all of our options, lounges, couches that you can pay for to sleep on. It's 10 a.m. It's just not worth it. So with that, we're gonna take the S2 train into downtown Zurich, walk around a little while, probably try to find some place to store our bags, grab a coffee, and just kind of hang out in the city. It's really bad weather, not really walking around weather. That's okay. I still, I would rather see the city than, I guess, just see the airport. We try our best not to complain too much about how expensive everything here, but even the customs agent was like, Switzerland's expensive, so 
They understand. The cappuccinos here are a very standard six fifty. Well, okay. It was pretty easy to find your options. You have more than one option, which makes things a little bit more complicated, but we bought a tram ticket. We're gonna take the number 10 into town, and it was six francs 80. We're trying to get to the main HB train station. I think that's where we'll be able to store our bags, but it's also where we're going to meet our friend later this evening. So if that works out, that's kind of what we're hoping for. I think it'll work. It's not too cold out, that's what I'm excited about. The city seems really small, or at least getting to the city center only takes like 10 minutes. Yeah. Found the lockers. Yes, receipt for this thing. All right, we need a pick me up. So the next plan is to grab a coffee, maybe a little bit of lunch. It's a little after 11. I think we are slowly but surely learning that maybe spending a little more on our plane ticket to get to our destination at a more comfortable time is worth it. We are dying. I don't know if you can tell, but we are tired. We're tired. Look at this. It's a pretty good first sight of the city. Alright, we didn't even make it to Old Town. We got to like the other side of the train station and there's all of these like food tents. I don't know if they're open or closed. It smells amazing though. I don't know if we're gonna get very far. This is where we're gonna stay. I'm overwhelmed. There's too many choices. <laughs> so not only did we stumble into a street food festival, but it opens right now. It just opened. Just so. So we're gonna take a look around. And the prices aren't too bad. We got a free mocha yogurt. I'm excited about it. It was free and it's got coffee in it. Is this a vegan street food festival? Yes. So it's all vegan? Yes. Okay. Found out a little bit more information. This entire food festival is all vegan. We went to the Pakistani stall because they had pakora, and we think we had it one other time when we were in Lisbon, but that was like a, a Nepal restaurant, and this is Pakistan, so we thought it'd be similar. I'm really excited though. We have some rice, some curry, I think, lentils, and beans. All of this was 21 francs. We'll have to get some water, so keep it cheap. What was that sauce again? You got a yogurt sauce, and then the green is a chili sauce. This is the one I remember. No, it's not as good? Well, I thought we'd had this before, but yeah. Oh, then it's totally, totally different. Not bad, but different. I knew I wanted something that I don't get all the time. Oh, yeah. Like, so this is perfect. Well, what a good find that was. Unfortunately, it is raining. We're gonna find a coffee shop still. Hopefully it stops raining so we can explore more of the city. Having fun? We're heading to Old Town. I actually like that it's raining. It's a little different. We don't really do this a lot. First impression of Old Town Zurich is you can eat for an affordable price. There's a lot of restaurants that is $20, $25 a plate if you want to sit down in like a nice place. But then there's the corner street food stuff for, you know, 10, 10, 15 francs, which is a lot more expensive than most places, but it's not too bad. You're not going to starve. There's good food everywhere. And then I found this place called Aspar. We can get coffee for $2.50. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Well, maybe we'll ask. If you 
just want a quick cup of coffee or a snack, that place is awesome. But we want a place to sit down, so we're, <laughs> we're gonna go someplace else. More times than none, you guys know, we don't really do a ton of research for the first time that we see a city. We'd like to just get our first reaction and be amazed, and we are amazed. Our friend Julia told us that on Wednesdays, all the museums in the city are free. Today just happens to be Wednesday. I don't know if we're going to go into one, but if it does start to rain, then I think that's where we'll head next. So disappointed, all the really cool coffee shops don't have places to sit, and that's all we want to do is sit. tried so hard to get coffee just a little cheaper and we failed very miserably. So we just picked a place. We finally had our coffee and we're going to take advantage of the free museums on Wednesday. We're going to head to the History Museum Mostly because it's near the train station, which is where our friend is going to pick us up in a couple of hours. Hello. Um, Hello. Hi. We were told that the, on Wednesdays the museums are free. Is that Not true? here. Not here? No. Okay. It's the art museum, Kunsthaus. It's for free. Oh, just oh. the art museum. Yeah. So I have one exhibition. It's for free. That was a great way to kill like 30 minutes. And you probably could stay in there for maybe an hour if you really wanted. Oh, you could probably read everything, sit and do everything. It wasn't very big, but it was interesting. Wasn't allowed to film. Yeah, and we're talking about just the free section. So yeah. the whole place would probably take several hours. Oh, yeah. Everybody was so nice in there, honestly. I think I've noticed everybody in the city so far it just seems very, very nice. Yeah. Another observation is all the tourists are so happy to be here. It doesn't seem like anybody is miserable. I mean, why would you be? You're in Switzerland. I would think the same thing about any city, but especially this one. Yeah. Everyone is just happy. When a city is really expensive, just go to the grocery store, get yourself some prepackaged food. Lunch was 11.05, we got coffee, dessert, a little salad, I'm pumped. Believe it or not, this is the cheapest coffee that we have found all day, our cappuccino. It was four francs 60, and it's right next to where our bags are, so we're gonna hang out here until we get picked up. That's our ride. Yeah, there's no rush. <laughs> oh, <sure>? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How are you? I think this is where this video is gonna end. We have arrived at the house. I'm not gonna film it. They're nice enough to let us stay here, so we're gonna keep that private. Our next stop is actually France. We'll see you in France. What's that? I got chocolate on the flight. You didn't get chocolate on the flight? No. I don't get any chocolate.